position. Lift up. Flight operations. saw it on the screen and heard the call outs. Um, we had successful lift off of the Falcon 9 on time. Uh, a few seconds after that it cleared the towers and then uh, did a pitch kick maneuver. Um, currently vehicle is supersonic. We may have just been able to make out a small uh, sonic boom there. Uh, we're about to head to max Q which is maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's the point at which the rocket is pushing hardest against the atmosphere. Vehicle is passed through max Q. just finished that uh, stage of flight. MVAC engine chill has started. MVAC engine chill gets the uh, engines cold enough uh, just in the way that the first stage engines perform its chill. And coming up shortly, we're gonna have a few, uh, a few things in quick succession. The main engines are gonna cut off, uh, the two stages are gonna separate, and the second engine will start and the first stage is then going to make its way back towards landing zone one um, with a boost back burn. Those four events all went in quick succession. The first stage currently boosting back. We've also gotten confirmation that the second stage trajectory is good. Okay, so on the left-hand side of your screen, you just saw the grid fins deploy. Quick recap for those of you that may have just joined us. We've had a successful launch of Falcon 9 uh, for Dragon to the International Space Station. We have had a stage separation, and on the left-hand side is uh, the first stage, Falcon 9, returning back to landing zone one in Florida. We just had a, a phenomenal camera shot from our ground tracking cameras of uh, the first stage and second stage uh, separating, and then that first stage boost back burn. Uh, currently, the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen is about to enter its uh, re-entry burn phase. This is when it slows itself down before it hits the dense part of the atmosphere so that there's no aerodynamic heating of those engines which are coming in headfirst. 
And that shot that you see on the right-hand side of your screen, that is the second stage engine glowing brightly. Personally, one of my favorite shots that we can get uh, during a launch as it carries Dragon towards the International Space Station. So first stage on the left-hand side, second stage on the right. On the left-hand side, uh, that first stage, you can see those cold gas thrusters. Uh, those are orienting the stage as it goes to the upper regions of the atmosphere. And then as the air gets thicker and thicker on its way down, we start using those grid fins, which you just saw deploy, uh, to steer the stage back towards a safe landing at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, landing zone one. Yeah, so we have a total of three burns that the first stage will perform. Uh, you've already solved the boost back burn. Uh, we're getting ready for the re-entry burn, and that's to slow it down. Uh, and then finally the, the landing bone, uh, excuse me, the landing burn. And we're about 30 seconds away from that re-entry. You can actually see the edge of Cape Canaveral uh, in the screen on the left-hand side there. Uh, so uh, as we get closer and closer to the ground, we should be able to get continuous video all the way down towards touching down on that pad. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. Daytime launch, can't get any better than that. They're gorgeous shots. <laughs> uh, remember on the right-hand side, the primary mission, uh, that's a camera mounted towards the bottom of the second stage. Uh, on top of that second stage, <laughs> uh, the Dragon spacecraft. Let's get an update on how it's doing right now. Uh, we're at T plus uh, five minutes and 55 seconds, and the second stage is still moving along at full power towards the International Space Station. Um, quick recap of the mission thus far. First stage had an on-time launch at uh, 1026 stage Eastern. Um, oh, uh, we've just moved into uh, entry burn startup, and you can see that happening on the screen uh, on your left, the left side of the screen. Um, we had a, a nominal ascent. Uh, second stage separated from the first stage, which is still moving towards landing zone one. Uh, the Dragon nose cone uh, was deployed. And power and trajectory are both still looking good on stage two. Stage one, AFTS has saved. So we are, just sec we are just seconds away from that landing burn. Uh, the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see it's getting very close to Cape Canaveral. Uh, in just a second or two, that landing burn, the center engine will light up and uh, take it softly down onto the ground. Yeah, so we should be seeing that in just a couple of seconds. Uh, we're just past T plus seven on the right-hand side, second stage as it's carrying Dragon spacecraft towards the International Planet Space Station, startup. our primary mission. Uh, but on the left-hand side, let's tune in and watch this landing burn. Landing burn has just started, as you can see. Watch for those landing leg deploy, uh, just a second or two. You just saw the first stage land on landing zone one. That marks the second successful visit to and from space oh, for this particular idea. booster. Okay. Uh, MVAC-D, uh, the Merlin vacuum engine that you're currently seeing on your screen, uh, has slowly begun to power down as expected. Uh, the second engine cutoff uh, is coming up in about 20 seconds. Second stage, um, at that point, the uh, second stage and Dragon will be coasting towards its uh, rendezvous with the International Space Station. I will confirm we've entered the correct orbit, and then Dragon will deploy from the second stage.
Uh, so we had a successful landing of that first stage of the Falcon 9. That's the second time for that particular booster. Uh, right now we had a uh, second engine cutoff of the second stage, and we're just waiting for the Dragon deploy, where the Dragon separates from the second stage of the rocket. Right, so there you can see on your screen, we're waiting for that visual confirmation of Dragon deployment. Um, after Dragon deploys, we will be waiting for the solar arrays uh, to spread out, and then uh, it'll be making its way to the International Space Station. So watching your screen right now, this is a camera pointing at the very bottom of the Dragon uh, as it's uh, docked right now to the second stage of the, of the Falcon 9. Uh, oh, and there it is. Yeah. That is a <laughs> successful deployment of the Dragon spacecraft. You can see into the trunk, uh, those external payloads in the very back of the trunk uh, right now. All right, so like we said before, that is the unpressurized section of Dragon, the pressurized. Uh, you can't see it from this particular view, um, but all of that will be making its way to the International Space Station over the next three days or so. We're expecting it to arrive on Sunday. You may have also seen the two pods on the side of the trunk. Those are the solar panels. Uh, currently, they're folded up accordion style against the sides of the trunk. Uh, in just about a minute or so now, that those covers are going to pop off, and then the uh, solar panels are going, to, are going to extend, which gives the Dragon the power it needs to get to the International Space Station. Yeah, so there on your screen, uh, that's a shot from the second stage, and that is Dragon moving away uh, in its mission. And wow, that. Now, Dragon doesn't just go directly to the International Space Station. It actually takes a series of burns to get there. And this happens over a period of about uh, 36 to 72 hours after the deployment. Um, <clears throat> these are both uh, height adjust and co burns, as you can see in this animation. Uh, the Dragon slowly moves itself closer and closer to the ISS until it's grabbed by the arm and can be birthed. Yeah. So birthing is what we refer to as when the Canada arm reaches out, as you can see right there grabs Dragon and then brings it in and uh, mates it to the International Space Station. Docking, however, uh, is whenever the Dragon itself will be uh, docking itself to the International Space Station without the help of the Canada arm to bring it in. Uh, right now on your screen, or you could just see the, uh, the second stage engine bell uh, as it just coasts up there in space. Um, like I said, we just had a successful separation of the Dragon. Um, we are just waiting for that solar panel to deploy. Uh, and then Dragon can make its way to the ISS over the next few days. Yeah, so quick recap, just in case if you're just joining us, we had a successful launch of Falcon 9 as well as a successful landing. This is the second time that this particular rocket has launched and landed. Uh, we also have Dragon on making its way to the International Space Station as it's successfully separated from the second stage. Uh, and this is also the second time that this Dragon spacecraft is being used as well. You can see our mission control in uh, Hawthorne, California right now. Everyone's very excited uh, to be launching both a reused Falcon and reused Dragon. Uh, you can see there's usually a crowd that comes out for launch days, even though it's early in the morning. Uh, it's always good to see the SpaceX crowd coming out to watch a launch. So the view on your right is a shot of the second engine. Oh, and there's the visual confirmation of the Dragon solar arrays deploying. Uh, so those, those solar arrays are normally packed up against the side of the trunk. You can see them uh, accordion uh, <laughs> folding out. Uh, Dragon has batteries on board that allow it to uh, collect energy, and um, those solar arrays just make sure that it's topped up uh, for the next few days as it gets closer and closer to the ISS. Expected loss of signal, Bermuda. So as you can see there, uh, visual confirmation of the Dragon Solar Arrays deploying. At this point in time, that's all we're going to follow for today's webcast. However, that's not the end of the mission. Dragon still has a couple days to go before it reaches the Expect International the Space Station. Uh, but as of right now, it's been a wonderful start to our Friday morning. Uh, we had a successful launch, a successful landing, and a successful uh, deployment for Dragon towards the International Space Station. Though Dragon's mission is not yet complete, this is going to bring our webcast coverage to a close. Uh, right now, we'd like to thank our customer, NASA, uh, for helping us out in yet another uh, commercial resupply services mission. Uh, we'd like to thank the Air Force for supporting, uh, and the FAA, of course, and you, the viewer, for tuning in. Thank you. Uh, and if you'd like to come join us to work on uh, missions like launching Dragon to the International Space Station, uh, check us out at spacex.com slash careers uh, and look for future updates from us on our social media accounts.